What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to talk about the Transform Element TEO3 Speed Star, also known as Mirage. So, I think they changed the name on this guy. It was called Phantom before. So, that seems to be a, a recent trend, is to change the name once it uh, hits, the, hits the market. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just... Uh, they never really decided on the name. And no, you don't need to adjust your screen. He is standing cockeyed. Uh, he's got one leg longer than the other right now. That's because he comes misassembled from the factory. And I am going to show you how to fix it. But what I did is I fixed one side. So let me just show you up close. You can see this hip. Actually, it might be a little easier if I put the leg straight. So you can see this hip is much higher up than this one. There's a lot more gap there. And that's because the inner part, this blue, this blue piece right here is assembled incorrectly. So basically it needs to be flipped upside down. So if you look at them side by side, you'll see this one's higher up than this one. So basically you gotta take apart the leg, flip that blue piece and reattach the leg. Uh, it's definitely easier said than done because there's a little bit of trickiness to it. So first go ahead and open up this um, ab crunch. Open up these hip skirts and just leave them like that for now. And that gives you some space to work. And we're going to work on the one that's still lower. Or yeah, the one that's still lower which is this one. So you want to take out these two screws here. And again, I've already done it on this side. So we're working on the right or his left side. Then uh, you need to get this piece right here off. It's a little tricky. I recommend using a spudger and not a uh, not a screwdriver so you don't scratch or break anything. The spudger will bend so rather than break stuff it'll bend. So you can see I had to pop this out of here. Getting this back in is very challenging so I'm just forewarning you you're gonna have to bend a little plastic to get that out of there. Now that you get this piece off you can slide the leg forward, and there's the hole. And then you want to take this and flip it. It is very, very tight, so you need something. And again, I recommend a spudger to just get in there and rotate. It's, it's a little challenging, but rather than use a screwdriver, you're better off using plastic. If this breaks, who cares, right? If this breaks, you got a problem. So always use something softer. All right, so now you see I've rotated it and the circle is now has a, it's taller on the top than it is on the bottom so use maybe a spudger or something like that get that wedged in there and then get your piece and you just got to get it in there and it's tricky so it might take a few tries um, but I will probably show you <laughs> I'll probably uh, dissolve and fast forward this part so I can show you getting in. Oh, there he goes. We got it. So you can see I had this wedged open and that slid in there. So you need, you really do need a spudger to do this. Okay, now that you've done that, you can put all the screws back. Okay, now that we've fixed that hip, you can see they're the same height and things look a lot better. So if you open these panels up, you should see they're both higher up like they were meant to be. And there's one other thing you have to do, so out of the box, it's mildly mistransformed. So go ahead and open up this chest piece a little bit. And then you're going to open up... There's two ab crunches. This one doesn't work in, in robot mode, but that's the one you want to open up. So you got to get it past there. Okay, so you're going to open up that ab crunch. Then you're going to flip these little panels in. That's all you want to do. And they fit nice and neatly inside of there. Okay, and then close that back up. And it should click back down into place. There's actually two clicks. So there's, the, is there's this one here, and then there's this one that's actually going in too. There's actually two ab crunches. Now, only the lower ab crunch works. We're going to talk about that during articulation. But now you have him all ready and transformed up and fixed. Uh, it is unfortunate that, you know, they shipped him that way with that problem. 
Uh, some of the stock has gone back to the manufacturer, back to Transform Element, and they're fixing it and sending it back to the retailers. So if you bought from a larger retailer such as, uh, you know, TF Source or one of those bigger, they probably sent their stock back, and so you're still waiting for this figure. So if you're wondering how I got this figure so quickly, um, I bought this from Nathan's to Nate's Toys and, Re and Collectibles. The link is in the description below. He's uh, one of my suppliers for robots. He has some great prices. He has a great store. Go and check out his store. Um, and um, he's a great guy to deal with. So moving on to the figure. Uh, he comes with a lot of stuff. Or not a lot of stuff. He comes with a good amount of stuff. About the same amount that we got with the uh, MMC version. By the way, we will be doing a comparison uh, video of Versus. So you get this missile here and you can stick this right in here. It only goes in one way. There's a flat side to this. So make sure you stick the flat side on the bottom. And that does that. I don't know if it's meant to fire or it just loads, but it has a nice satisfying click when it goes in there. You also have the gun. And there he is with his gun and his shoulder cannon. And the gun looks really good. The shoulder cannon has its own articulation. So we'll talk about that when we go to articulation. But really really good looking with those weapons. Uh, you also get alternate head, so this is kind of an elongated face or elongated head. It's going to be hard to tell the difference, but try getting closer. So you can see this one's got a little bit longer of a chin. Alright, so in order to fit, switch the face you want to uh, get this head up like this. And you really got to get this head kind of separated. You can see there's like a gap right there. And you got to get that apart. It's a little tricky. You can pull on the face to give you a little help. But once you get the gap, you can pull that off and the face pulls off too. It's got little tabs there to get it in. And then you can swap it with the smiling face. There's a smiling face. And then put the cover back on. And then there's your happy smiling mirage and maybe we'll leave that on for a little bit all in all pretty good options for the head sculpts and the face alright let's go into articulation so the head is on a ball joint uh, it does tend to move this panel with it so you kinda have to hold that panel let's just get the camera situated here so if you hold this panel, you can kind of move the head back and forth on this neck. So it goes all the way up to there, down to there. Or you can just move it up and down on the ball joint. It goes all the way up so you can look crazy up. And pretty far down because of that neck. And it rotates around. This gun is on a rotation here. So it can go all the way that way. You can go up, down to there and up to there, and then there's another hinge joint, so you can go all the way up to there. So, lots and lots of articulation there. His shoulder is on a joint there. Rotates all the way around. Rotation at the bicep, pretty tight joint there. You do have a articulation here on this panel, and it also rotates. You have a double jointed elbow. It gets you up to there and down to there. You have a rotation at the wrist. You have individually, individually articulated fingers. The pointer finger is separate, but it is curled, so you can't get it straight pointed. And then the thumb is on a single rotation on that screw right there. Continuing downward, you do have a rotation at the waist. It's a little bit hindered because it hits this backpack. So it kind of reminds me of the hunk uh, articulation, right? It's, it's, a, it's there, but it's, it's a little bit limited. If you use the ab crunch, there's actually an ab crunch built into the, th into the hips. So the entire hips lift up, and now it still rotates the same amount, but you get that ab crunch there. So that's nice. And it locks into place on the bottom. Uh, so there's a lock inside, and then there's that other lock. That's really for transformation, so you can't really use it. If you wanted to, you'd have to open this up, and then you could use it, but that doesn't really make any sense. 
You got hip skirts here, you can think of legs up to there. Uh, this hip skirt does have this little extension on the side and you can fold it straight back like this or you can have it out like that and like that it goes back to there. Oops, and we unpegged. So if you want to go back, there is a hip skirt here, but again, the hip skirt is hindered by the backpack, so you can only get it so far back and then it and then it collides. And then out to there. All on friction joints, every joint on here is tight. I don't have anything loose. My well, we'll talk about this when we get to the comparison, but my MMC Sphinx was loose in lots of places. You get a double jointed knee, gets all the way up to there, some really Really nice range there on his knee. You get ankle tilt as much as you would ever possibly want. You get a toe tilt all the way down to there, all the way up to there, and a separate ankle, or sorry, a heel spur. So this can go up and down like that, and it can go in and out. All right, and there he is with his actually, you know, made by the same company, Transform Elements. Optimus and Dakar Tomy's version of Blue Streak and he looks good with them fits in very well with the existing car bots uh, But also looks really nice with their transform element Optimus right now before we get him into the Vehicle mode. I just wanted to show you, you know, he's very naked without his Autobot logo So I had to put one on there. I wanted to show you what he looks like out of the box But now that we've done that you can see he needs that logo pretty badly actually he might even pay off to have a little bit bigger than that one. Uh, people always ask where to get these labels, so I buy them from Baba Bobo. On, on, uh, he's got his own store, but you can also buy it off of eBay. Or you can get them from Repro Labels, whatever, whatever you need. All right, so let's get these weapons out of here. So you do want to lift up his thumb just a bit, and then you can get this out. And just get the rocket out of this. I don't think it fires, but it's got like a locking mechanism, so I don't know if it was meant to fire. I'm glad it doesn't, because I, I don't need weapons to fire. It's just not something I need in my uh, Transformers. So let's start with the easy stuff. Go ahead and fold the thumb down. Fold the fingers in. Classic uh, masterpiece style hand. Open up the panel. Fold it in. And then tab it in. Same on this side, go ahead and open the panel, fold it in. I already had the thumb in on this side. Okay, so that takes care of the hands. Now we can take care of the chest and the back and all that stuff. So turn the head around and just leave that there for now. We're going to get that actually in to there a little bit later. Now you can open up this chest and this is going to give you where you're going to have a little space to work. Go ahead and fold out these tires. And you're going to get this whole piece, it's going to slide down on this slider right here. Now you can see the head is down and inside, past the bottom of this. That's what's going to allow you to close that piece on top. All right, so you slide that whole head piece down and just leave this there for now. Go ahead and take wheels and fold them out and leave those there for now. All right next we're going to take care of these inner pieces here so first go ahead and pull this piece out and make sure you have this ab crunch opened up and that's going to allow you to get in here fold these panels all the way up until they go horizontal same on this side and then take out this piece, the engine block, flip open the edges. Uh, very interesting, it actually says Ford on there. No fear by Transform Element. Okay, so go ahead and get this kind of out and down. And then this is going to push inwards and collapse and it tabs in back here. Okay, now that we've done that, we can take out these ab crunch or ab pieces. Actually leave these wheels here because that just makes it easier to work with things. Okay. Get these ab pieces out. So fold out this way. And then when you get to this side, fold it up. And just leave them there because we're we're gonna deal with that in a little bit. 
Uh, now you can fold the nose cone back up here. You're going to fold the arm downwards and fold this part inwards. And that's just going to press in and sit in there. Same on this side. Okay, go ahead and push it together. It does tab together in the middle. All right, now I'm going to take care of this shoulder cannon here, and it's kind of an interesting little transformation here. So make sure you have this panel straight. Fold this down this way, and then across this way. And then you're going to fold the wheel out, fold this in, fold this down, fold this wheel out. And this fits right in this cavity. You can see there's a cutout there for that. That's just ingenious engineering. I love the way that works. So cool. Uh, by the way, that shoulder cannon thing, we'll talk about when we get to the uh, comparison with the MMC. Go ahead and open up this panel, fold this down, and then that's going to fit inside there. And same on this side. Hold it out and down. And leave all that there for now. You can leave the wheels back up. And then for this front spoiler, fold these pieces out. All right, next we're going to work on the legs. So uh, the legs are a little bit trickier, so you kind of have to pay attention to where you're at. So go ahead and open up this panel. Open up this panel. And then open up the, the whole leg panel that way. You should end up with, actually, the other way. You should end up with the screw towards the inside of the leg. Uh, and then you can rock on this panel here. That'll allow you to accordion. Uh, also, make sure you uh, get this wheel out of the way. So you're going to need a little bit of work to do that. You have to open up this panel and you can open up that wheel. Now you can rotate this down. Okay, so you just have something like that. And then you're going to get this closed up and like that. So you should end up with the screw and the pin facing downwards. Go ahead and fold this upwards and the bottom, the front of the foot ends up there. This is on a slider. Just be careful with the slider. It doesn't, it, it feels okay. The quality and the materials are good. It just, just be careful with stuff like that. Very thin piece of plastic. You want to end up breaking that. Okay, so go ahead and Get, make sure that's all square in there. All right. And then on the outside, we're going to slide this panel. Uh, slide this panel backwards. And that's going to, and then push this, oops. Slide this panel downwards. And then fold this in. And that's all going to fit and make sure this is slid all the way back. And that is going to fit into here. Uh, if, if you haven't already done this, make sure you open these hip skirts here because that's going to make part of the car. Right, so go ahead and accordion this back down and it's going to basically sit right up against the side of the vehicle. Okay. Uh, don't don't work on this pegging this in just yet because we got to get everything all lined up. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to show it because it's very, it's it's pretty confusing actually. So pull this away, and then fold the entire panel down. Open up this panel here. Rotate your wheel out, and that's going to give you the space to work. And here's where you want to accordion the whole thing down. Make sure you've got the screw facing downwards. Right, so you're going to end up with this 
um, sorry, screw facing inwards. And you're going to accordion here. So unpeg there and get this accordion down. And these are very tight joints, so that's why it's a little bit hard for me to show this while you're on camera. Go ahead and close this, and that's going to allow you to close up the gap. Move this spoiler to the top. Move that foot to the back, just like we did before. And you can kind of see this coming together. Push this panel in. Fold it down, and also slide this up. But fold this down, and that's going to fit in that little gap there. Accordion this up into its spot. Uh, make sure, so sometimes these close, make sure you open those back up. All right, we're in the home stretch here. Uh, so here you want to, oh, make sure you slide these out. Right here you want to peg both of these in to that center panel. You can see there's two tabs there. To get those pegged into those tabs. Uh, you cannot do this if you haven't done the hip modification. It won't work. You'll not, you will not be able to get this together. So I, I did a transformation just to see what would happen and you can't push it together. In fact, you'll probably break it. So don't make an attempt to transform it without fixing the, the hips. I did hear there, the second batch is going to be fixed. So if you're in a second batch, then don't, you don't have to worry about the, the hip fix, but if you are in the first batch, then make sure you fix that before you transform it or you're definitely going to break it. All right, so get these pegged together, get this all pegged together, and give it a nice little push. And then these panels are going to tab in. So you can see there's a little tab and a slot there. So make sure that fits together. Same on this side, tab and a slot there. If it's not fitting together, that means you don't have it slid all the way down. Right, and then finally you can take care of this, and that's just going to slide together. See on this side, get that slid together. And the reason I say don't do that till the end is because sometimes it doesn't, and you, know, you got to make some adjustments. All right, so get everything kind of squozing. Squeezed up. We'll get this cleaned up and then we'll take a look. Uh, there are some little panels here and there that are not quite lined up. So let me get it cleaned up and then we'll take a look at it. And there you have Speedstar in his vehicle mode and he looks really cool. He rolls really well. It's got the side uh, Jitanes. Oh, I guess it is Jitanes. And he's got the Ford logo on the engine, which is Interesting to say the least. I, I don't know. Maybe they don't care about Ford. Um, there are some things that are loose, like these panels right here, but only if you hold it upside down. Um, it it does peg together and it does stay together. It's just not as tight and clean as their uh, their Optimus Prime. It's good. Uh, in fact, let's bring in some vehicles for comparison. This with a few other masterpiece uh, vehicles. Um, I do have it next to the MMC version of. Mirage and he does he's pretty much the same size as a car but maybe a little bit longer a tiny bit wider I mean so is this one because you got the wide out tires which you kind of expect on a vehicle like this so final thoughts on this guy I think they did a great job I don't know if I even did a 360 on him he's a pretty clean robot all the way around he does have some of the typical design elements for Mirage but Nothing really messy or, you know, to complain about in terms of kibble. And, you know, good colors, good looks. Uh, there is some paint. So you got paint on these outer panels here. And you, I think you have paint here. It's hard to tell on the arms whether it's just good plastic or whether it's paint. Uh, but all around, pretty good looking figure. Um, I, I do notice some of the pins starting to get loose. So this one right there. It's a little bit loose, and and there's a lot of pins, right? There's only a few screws here and there, and there's mostly pins. Um, but I definitely recommend him. I like him. It, you know, do you buy him over the MMC version? I can't say that just yet because I'm going to be doing a versus video, so you can check that out in my versus video with the MMC Sphinx. 
Um, but I like him personally. I, I recommend him. If you don't have a version of Mirage, definitely like this guy. Now, we do know Fans Toys is coming out with their version, so no idea how this will compare to that. But for now, this is, in my opinion, the best masterpiece version of Mirage available today. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the chat below, and we will see you next time.